Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Anar and I'm a self-taught software developer. And on this channel, I aim to help you break into and grow your career in tech. Today, I want to cover if getting tech certifications is worth it for you. There will be two types of programs that I'm going to cover that award certificates. The first type of certificate program involves completing a course, usually online, to learn a specific technology. A couple of examples of this are the various AWS and Google Cloud certificates. The second type are more all around diploma type programs that are typically taught at private colleges, usually in an in-person classroom environment. These programs will involve a broader topic and award a certificate in something more broad, such as software testing. Let's focus on the certificates that teach you how to use a specific technology, such as the ones I mentioned first, like the Google Cloud and AWS certificates. In summary, in my opinion, I think these certificates are usually not worth it, especially if your goal is to get your first job after graduating from school or after immigration. I'll use myself as an example. During my time at one of my previous jobs, I actually completed a Google Cloud certificate and I don't even put it on my resume. The truth of the matter is, for me as an experienced software engineer, a Google Cloud certificate doesn't give me much value. When I interview for a role where I would need to use Google Cloud services or AWS services, I'm never asked in the interviews about what certificates I have. When you do one of these certificate programs, all of the exercises take place in very simple scenarios. They just don't give you the depth of knowledge that experience would working with that same technology. So if a job requires experience in a Google Cloud technology, for example, whether you get hired for this role will not depend on if you are certified in this technology or not. It will depend on your knowledge of this technology and all these different scenarios that can come up in the real world, which will be tested by your interviewer quite easily. Another interesting insight is that for many roles, such as software testing roles and software engineering roles, the technologies that you get certificates for are usually not a hard requirement for the job. So if you are a strong candidate applying for a role that requires Google Cloud, for example, and you've never worked with Google Cloud, that's usually not a deal breaker and you can still get hired. The opposite is also true. If you're a software engineer or a software tester, for example, but you have certain gaps in your core knowledge or core skills, such as writing code for a software engineer or writing test plans for a software tester, you can get all the certificates that are out there, but it still won't make you a competitive candidate. The roles that these types of certificates more closely apply to is usually more DevOps centric roles. Similarly, I've worked with many DevOps engineers and some had certificates and some didn't. What got them hired was their knowledge and experience. Now I haven't been exposed to every single tech job out there. Maybe there are some very niche tech jobs where tech certificates are very important, but most of the time this isn't the case. This is why whenever I talk about pursuing any form of education, I put an emphasis on internships and co-op because the first thing that any recruiter looks for when they look at your resume is skills and knowledge obtained from relevant work experience. The one scenario where getting something like a Google Cloud certificate is worth it in my opinion is when you have discussed a promotion with your manager and getting the certificate is part of the deal. In this scenario, you can usually have the company pay for it and you can often do it during company work hours. That's going to wrap it up for certificates that are awarded for specific technologies. The more broad type of certificate that I mentioned, such as a certificate in software testing, is definitely worth pursuing, especially if you don't have any work experience or if you're brand new to the field. Just make sure you are selective before committing to a school or college that's going to provide the certificate. I would focus less on the name of the school and more on what they can provide for you, such as practical work experience and assistance looking for a job. The reason I mention this is because I have noticed reputable universities offering certificate programs. I want to highlight that the name of a reputable university does not have the same value on the certificate as it does on a degree. I'm going to wrap it up here. If you enjoyed the video or find it useful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future content.